Safety alert tonight. Fishing clubs pulling ice bridges off Lake Winnebago today as conditions turn dangerous. That's causing concerns as thousands are expected to hit the ice this weekend for the Battle on Bago Fishing Tournament. NBC 26's Stephanie Mead is live on our weather deck tonight with organizers' plan of action. Stacy, vehicle bridges have been pulled and are now replaced with ATV bridges. Now the main concern is how much of the exposed ice will last since temperatures will reach about 50 degrees going into this weekend. I wouldn't want to drive my truck through here. Kevin Obiala has competed in the Battle on Bago for nine years and says this is the worst year yet. This year the shorelines really are taking a beating. As you can see out here, a lot of melting. The vehicle traffic here it could be up to two or three thousand vehicles, uh, the bridges around the bridges that won't hold up. Ice in the middle of the lake is 12 to 16 inches thick, but there's no snow cover, which could lead to honeycombing. That's when the ice melts and air pockets form, posing a safety threat. You can have 18 inches ice and if it's all honeycomb, it won't even hold a vehicle. It won't hold a vehicle. That's why they're pulling the bridges and advising fishermen to use snowmobiles or ATVs to get on the ice. These conditions affecting registration for the battle on Bago. We're probably down about 30 30 percent from last year, which is fine. You know, I think uh, with the ice conditions and. Uh, the way they are, the warmer weather last weekend and this weekend, you know, we're, we're expecting that. Organizers telling fishermen if you venture out on Lake Winnebago, you'll do it at your own risk. Fishermen are advised to ride their ATVs onto Lake better Winnebago or better yet, just walk on the ice. Keeping you connected, Stephanie Mead, NBC 26.